Hello everyone, welcome to round number six of the 44th Chess Olympiad in China and India. And we have crossed the halfway mark of the event. And we have a surprising leader, by the way, Team Armenia beating India. And we will check the highlights of that game after this. First up, we have this crucial win. And his first win in the Olympiad. Fabiano Carwana winning over Parham Magsudo of Iran. Let's check out the game. Fabiano has never been the same after uh, measurable uh, candidates. And this time, he came up with a win. And an important win because the three other boards were drawn. Okay, started with E4, Magsudo went for C5. Knight f3, d6, d4, takes, takes, knight f6, knight c3, a6, we have the Nidorf. I want to win for f3, e5, knight into b3, bishop e6, bishop p 3 knight b7, g4, bishop e7, queen d2, castles, castles queen side, typical in the Sicilian. Opposite sides castling, black castles on the king side, white on the queen side, black played b5, also in the pawn raise, white with g4, black with b5, g5, b4. Here Carwana went for g takes f6. Okay, another line here would be knight e2. Black would go back to e8. There's f4, a5, and then f5. A4, if you take on E6, takes on B3. Of course, white will not be able to take that knight on D7 because B takes A2 is an unstoppable promotion on A1. So after it takes on B3, white will just take on B3, black will take on E6, and with chances for both sides. Carwana also played this line against Gelfan. Gelfan actually winning this as black. Uh, but it was nine years ago. All right. So he went for takes on f6 here. Takes on c3, queen takes c3. Knight takes f6, knight a5. Rook c8, knight c6. They're still following theory with some top games, especially in games of Bashar and Lagrav. As black, Lagrav is known to Play the Nidorf, and that's his pet line against e4. Queen into e8, knight takes e7, queen takes e7, queen a5. It's still theory. Rook into c6, white plays rook g1 here. Of course, you don't take that pawn on a6. That's a big blunder. Black will pay rook a8, pin on the queen, you lose that bishop on a6. So rook into g1, rook fc8. King d1. Here, black played knight h5. Well, if black captures e2, white will simply take on a6. You're forced to play rook c6, and this is going to be a big headache. The a1, the outside has pawn. So black went for knight h5. They're still following theory um, games by Ponomaryov, Zugirov, and some other top grandmasters. Rook g2, protecting the important c2 square. Queen f6, rook f2, okay, protecting f3. Queen h4, rook d2, h6, b3. Queen f6, rook f2. And here, black played queen h4. This is the first novelty up to 25 moves. First new move. Imagine that. Uh, previously, King H7 was played by Navarra against Porto Mario five years ago. It went on with C4, Knight F4, Queen to B4. Black's problem is always this D6 pawn, same as this game. Imagine a new move on the 25th, but nothing, nothing has changed. White still won. Again, black's glaring weakness is d6. 
Knight f4, c4. White will exploit this one going into the end game. f5, bishop takes f4, simplify. Takes bishop into d3, control of the important central e4 square. Rook into f8, king b2, moving out of the danger zone, especially when your opponent has a light square bishop. Queen h4, rook g2, exchange of the queen. White offers the exchange. Black moves back, queen to b4, target d6. Rook f7, bishop c2, now it's rook and queen. Queen d8, rook g6, rook to the bishop and also the pawn. If the bishop moves, the pawn in d6 will fall. After rook g6, this is already winning for white. Okay, black had to play rook f6. Now, if the queen moves to, let's just say e7 to protect that bishop. Okay, I can play queen a4 here, but attacking the rook on c6. You cannot go queen d7 because that queen will become an overworked piece, protecting both c6 and e6. I can just capture an e6, takes and takes on c6. And if you put your rook, let's say, on b6 here, I can push my pawn to c5. You take, for example, there's a pin on the rook. All right, from g6 to b6. Okay, so Magsudluf couldn't do anything here. He played rook f6. What else can he do? He is losing anyways. Takes, takes, e takes f5. If queen takes, white can play queen b7. Rook moves back and rook takes b6. g takes f6. King is open. I want to took a free pawn in f5 with a protection of the bishop on c2. Queen d2 is coming to attack h6. Okay, the rest is just a matter of technique here. All right, bishop takes e4. One final trick for black. You don't want to fall into it. But pawn takes e4, obviously. This is rook b6, right? Queen on the king. So queen d2. It's a double attack. Pawn to the bishop. Queen to the pawn on h6. The queen b6, queen takes, lonely king, yeah. d5, wow. Magsudlu ignored the threat. All right, he has a queen, keeping an eye on g1. So no rook g1, but queen g6 first. King f8, rook g1, with the protection of the queen, battery on the g5. D4, queen g7. King e8, queen h8. Can the king seek cover here? I'm not too sure. Rook d7, okay, one blockade. Bishop f7, because if you go king d6, you cannot escape. There's queen f8. You put your king on d5, you will be checkmated in the middle of the board with bishop e4. Okay, bishop f7. Queen h5, king f7, how do you protect that bishop? Last hurrah takes, and here, queen g1 takes, takes, after king d2, black just simply resign. Okay, you have bishop takes f3, king takes d3. What else can you do? Outside pass pawn, the h1. We also have pass pawns on the queen side, two against one majority. So that's the principle of two weaknesses. Plus the exchange rook superior than the bishop. An important win by Carwana. Winning on board one, two, three, and four were drawn. So Team USA wins over Iran. And tomorrow will be a rest day. And it will be an exciting match. Round number seven between the USA and Armenia. Armenia without Aronian, USA with Aronian.
who will come out on top this Friday. We will see as we continue the coverage of the 44th Chess Olympiad in Chennai, India. Thank you guys for supporting our channel, Charles Mars Chess and Charles Mars Entertainment on Facebook and YouTube. This is Coach Oliver. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.